our business in particular, uh, we really tried our best to innovate in every way possible. Our business of uh, soaps, we control almost half the market. It's easy to be complacent, so it's really trying to find innovation in every single thing we do. By knowing the consumer, knowing the business, knowing the landscape, even down to the supplier segment. So it's really getting in touch with the business to trying to find that one or two consumer noticeable innovation that can really change the business. The other thing which we, you know, we always try to do is we really try to make fast and smart decisions. Um, smart you get by really knowing your business inside and out. Fast because, um, you know, we used to say that uh, your competition won't wait. Uh, nowadays, your consumers won't wait. If you don't innovate in your business, uh, they're really going to decide uh, we're going to switch over to another brand and they just won't switch out. They'll even tell you straight via social media. So, you know, by really knowing your business and by really making fast and smart decisions, that's how we um, managed our business uh, to get the results that we got. What I normally tell uh, young marketers who approach me is one, you really need to know your consumer. Uh, it sounds very trite and it's one of the core fundamentals, but a lot of times we forget about that one. And the reason why I always tell folks that is because when you know your consumer intimately, that's the only time you can drive real innovation because I've always believed real innovation comes when you offer something to the consumer that they don't even know they want or need. We look at the example of Steve Jobs and Apple, we didn't even know we needed an iPad. And then he, and he came with the product and boom, you suddenly see the mass innovation. By only knowing your consumer very intimately, can you actually come up with something so innovative that when you offer it, she doesn't even know that, hey, I never even knew I wanted or needed this. And that's when you really step change your business. The second one is to, to, to take risks and be brave enough to try something new. Um, a lot of times, you know, we get really complacent. Like Safeguard, for example, it's been around for almost 50 years and there's a tried and tested model. And every time you try to try something new, the, the oldies tell you, don't do it anymore, we know how it works. Um, but you have to be brave enough to take risks and try something new. And that can only come when you really, really know your consumer. So know your consumer by heart um, and be brave enough to try something new and take risks. And you know, that would be a really, really good first step uh, in getting something great out of marketing.